Hello children, hope you are fine. Today we will be starting with a new topic in grammar that is reported speech. What is reported speech? When we want to tell somebody else what another person said, we can use either direct speech and reported speech. Reported speech is also known as indirect speech. Okay. When we use direct speech, we use the same words but use quotation marks. For example, Scott said, I am coming to work. I will be late because there is a lot of traffic jam. So when the person is saying that directly, if you are uh, just quoting the person, you will use a inverted comma. Okay. Here like. And when... Uh, when we use reported speech, that is, in, when we use a, a reported speech or indirect speech, we usually change the verb, specific time, specific time and pronouns. For example, Scott said that he was coming to work. He said that he would be late because there was a lot of traffic at that time. So, see, if you see these two sentences, okay, in this first one, you use I and I am coming to work. I will be late. But here, when you are using it indirectly, he said that he was coming to work. Said that he would be late because there was a lot of traffic jam at that time. Okay, I hope you have understood this much. Reporting of the verbs of a speaker in one's own words is called narration. There are two ways of reporting that what people say direct speech and indirect speech also known as reported speech direct speech in in in, in a direct speech we use the actual words of a, of the speaker using quotation marks supposingly a began ne kaha ki wo school a raha hai a began ne if somebody is telling the other person Vishwesh ne kaha ki abhigyan keh raha hai, wo school ja raha hai. So you see there is a change in the person and also it has become from direct, it has become to indirect. Okay. Then we convey the speaker's words in our own words, it becomes indirect speech. It is the reporting of speaker's words using a saying or asking verbs. So in uh, direct speech, if you uh, uh, it will be a began ne kaha ki wo school ja raha hai. But if you uh, then is me okay. This is the example. Then uh, it is the uh, when the when we are conveying the speaker's words in our own words, it becomes indirect speech. जैसे हम किसी को किसी third person को बता रहे जो पहले वाले ने कहा. It is like uh, Vishwesh, uh, Vishwesh is staring Aryan. Uh, uh, Abhigyan keh raha tha ki wo school jana wala hai. Jaiga and jane wala hai. So there is a difference. Okay. It is the it is the reporting of uh, speaker's words using a saying or asking verbs in indirect. Verbs given or asking for instructing are often used within with a uh, two infinite construction that means when you are using it yeah, there will uh, there will be a count countable noun which we will be expecting verbs expressing intention may also be followed by a two infinite when you are expressing some intention ki wo jai, like uh, a big school jane wala hai to intention hai ki wo school jane wala hai okay there are basically four types of sentences which we can convert direct speech into indirect. First one is assertive sentence which is also known as statement. Interrogative sentences which are also known as questions. Imperative sentences are, are of two types command and request. And the fourth one is exclamatory sentences which have a strong feeling that ye pakka hoga. We will do this in detail in the later chapter later in the topic now there are certain rules when we are changing a direct speech into a indirect speech first change is remove the commas and inverted commas and use any conjunction like in the first one was there scott said that he would be late so here again uh, you are using that 
as a conjunction to join the sentence. Okay. Change two. In reported speech, there are some words which show nearness, but they are always converted into the words which show distance. So, like uh, in the following tables, I uh, in the following table I'm sh showing you. If the word is here, then it becomes there. Nearness is here. Distance is there. Come here. Go there. Uh, Sheila said to uh, John, he should come here. Sheila told uh, Sheila told uh, John that he should go there. So are you getting nearness and distance? Now becomes then. Now is the right time. John said that uh, when he started working, then he had a then was the right time for him to work. This becomes that. These becomes those. Today becomes that day. Tonight becomes that night. Yesterday becomes the previous day. The last night becomes the previous night. Next week becomes the pre last week becomes the previous week. Tomorrow becomes the following day. Next week becomes the following week. Ago becomes before. Ago means bad name and, and it will be before. It will change into before. Thus becomes so. Hence becomes tense. Come becomes go. See now this uh, come is changed into go only the, when the, uh, there are certain changes where come becomes go when uh, the, any word shows nearness is given with it. Come here. Go there. Okay. Come tomorrow. Go tomorrow. So here nearness and distance will be shown together. Change 3. Change of person. The there are three types of person in English language: first person, second first, first person, second person, and third person. See, in the first person, it will be I and we. In the second person, uh, it will be you, and in the third person, it will be he, she, and they. When you are showing the possession, that is something uh, somebody is possessing, then it will be in the in the first person, it will be my or our. Second person, it will be your. In the third person, it will be his or her or their. His sister, her, her brother, their uncle. Then in the for, uh, in accusative, the, it will be me and us. In the second, it will be you. And again in the uh, third person accusative, it will be him, her or them. Then let's come to change four. If the reporting verb is in the present is in the present or in future tense, there is no change in the tense of the reporting speech. If the reporting verb is the is in the past tense, there is always a change in the tense of the reported speech, which is as follows. Like in the pres present indefinite is changed to past indefinite, present continuous is changed to past continuous. Present perfect is changed into past perfect. Present perfect continuous is changed into past perfect continuous. Past indefinite is changed into past perfect. Past continuous is changed into past perfect continuous. Past perfect, uh, past perfect and past perfect continuous remain unchanged. In case of future tense, there are only four words which are, which are changed. That is will becomes would. Shall becomes should, may becomes might, and can becomes could. Now we will talk about the uh, changing indirect into direct in the next video. Okay boys, hope you understand. Wherever you don't understand, you can call me up.